Hey everybody, welcome back to LDRS Creative Run Studio and we are going to go over the new January collection. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so good to see everybody tonight. I'm seeing names popping up here. alan has got it set up for me. So hi to Jen Ray and to, who do we have here? Bobby Harris, Sheila Fisher, yay! Don Wilcox, who else do we have? Shelly. Sharon, Cindy Patty, Rhonda, yay. Oh, Will's here too. Oh, so many names popping up. You know, oh, and Linnea's here, yay, Linnea. Um, yeah, you know what, if this is your first time, then give me a little message here. Um, I'll see if I can grab it. And if, and, and let, let me know if it's your first time, if you're a first timer. So we've got Sandy is here, Dee Dee. Oh, Dee Dee from Arizona, Angel, Krista, hi. Oh my goodness, everybody. So excited to be back. It has been, we, we missed last week, right? What's wrong? Why are you looking at me funny? You're hitting these notes. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> you would think I was on caffeine or something. I've just had a ton of energy today. Today's been a fantastic day. Um, last week, you know, we weren't here last week because we were in trade show. We had HSN, so kind of coming off of that, and I, like, slept for a lot. And um, so now I'm like back up and I'm and I'm just feeling great. So who else is here? Clara's here. Um, Judy, so many people. Paulette, Katie. Oh my gosh, Sue Stevens. Everybody, thank you so much. So today's an exciting day. Um, well, actually, our, our release day was on, I think it was on Monday, if I remember correctly. <laughs> release day was Monday for our new January collection. We haven't had a new collection since our October collection because you know, you go over the holidays and all that stuff and things kind of slow down. So um, this collection is so, so fun. I love it. We've got some wonderful, wonderful characters and critters in here. If you haven't had a look, a look yet, um, but I'm going to take you kind of step by step through everything. If you notice behind me, normally I have card samples up behind me. I don't have any because all my card samples are right here next to me. And I'm going to walk you through those as well. Our design team has knocked it out of the park wait wait until you see all these uh super excited about them so we're gonna get rolling here because i don't want to run out of time and i really want to show you everything so misto hunt let's go to camera two two <laughs> all righty two oops let's let me put my hand there so we can let me let me put something here here how about if i put this here we have we have the autofocus on we got to change that <laughs> not, not right now but we do have to <laughs> I can do it right we have now. to undo the no 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 that, that, that stuff is not good not not uh, not while we're live okay so to start off tonight's show actually you know what let's come into camera let's, let's come into camera three let me see if we can get a little bit closer with these a little bit tighter there we go okay so um we're going to start off with the friends around the world um I miss traveling. I miss traveling so much. And I will tell you this, a little, little thing here. Um, just before COVID, we were actually supposed to take a trip to England. We were heading to London, heading to York um, to see um, one of my most fabulous friends, Nikki. She is the owner of Polka Doodles. I'm sure you're all familiar with her wonderful products. We were, we were all going to be heading over there. And um, literally, we were supposed to leave like a just like what a few weeks after COVID started and so of course that didn't happen so um and i'm missing her and i haven't seen her in a long time so friends around the world that's really what this is about it's 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 all about adventure it's about missing our friends missing our family missing those that you know that we can't be with uh thinking of them as well and maybe going on even a new adventure uh, because you know we're you know we're kind of starting to travel again and you know or you know on and off but um so whatever your new adventure is, that's really what this is. This uh, set is all about. Um, and I wanted it to be fun, and I didn't want it to be people. I wanted it to be really uh, kind of, you know, animals that are all around the world that we find in different places. So we've got this little hippopotamus. Let me go to this, to, to the B side, we'll call it, uh, so you can see the colored image on the back. So we have like a little hippopotamus here. Got his little suitcases or hers. Looks like a her. Um, and then, well, of course, we have a giraffe. Then we have pandas in here as well. Um, look at these little dogs. And this, this is the, the little French bulldogs. So they're like, you know, Paris. And uh, then we have our little, um, our little tiger here. Oh, and of course, we can't forget Australia for our little kangaroos. So 
these are our friends around the world and they're to represent our friends around the world. So I just think this is the most fun, fun, fun set. So we do have some sentiments in here. You are my favorite adventure, uh, friends forever. And then this one says, you mean so much to me. Um, they're just really, really sweet. Now these are standard size characters. You know, we have our standard size characters, which are, you know, about yay big. And then we have our pocket pails that are even smaller. These are standard size characters. So if you wanted to mix and match these with any of our standard size sets that you've already got in your collection, that would, they would perfectly, you know, be sized to work with them. And per usual, we have the coordinating dies that are sold separately. And on the back, as always, we have mapped out which die goes with which of those characters just to make it really easy for you. So we have these. And of course, this comes with three sentiments. But I wanted to have another really fun sentiment uh, set. Um, this one is called You Mean the World to Me. I love mixing fonts and I love really fun fonts. So in this set, we have, so the adventure begins, I miss your face, which is really fun because some of the letters are hollowed out so you can actually custom color those. Sending my love, the hearts are also hollowed out so you can color those whatever color you want. Oh, the places you'll go, I heart you, wish you were here. Here's a big hug, cutest thing ever. Look at that with the two hands giving the hug. Looks like they're already wrapped around you. I miss you so much, you mean the world to me. Pack lighter, travel further. Ah, that one was, I think, designed for me. <laughs> My husband saying, you don't have to take all that stuff. <laughs> Miss you lots, of course lots. Same thing, it's hollowed out so you can custom color it. And then adventure awaits. So these are really, really fun. You can use these sentiments uh, pretty much all year long. You can use these with just about any of your stamp sets. Um, but they do work beautifully with the friends around the world. This is one of the themes of this set, or, or of this entire collection. So let me show you some beautiful cards. What? I was just thinking about the wedding dress. The wedding dress? Yeah, it's on the suitcase. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Heavy, heavy. That sounds like that should be a story. Should I tell that? Short cards. All right, if anybody wants to hear about the wedding dress and the fact that it had its own suitcase, uh, let me know and I will tell you. Otherwise, I won't bore you with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you some cards here that are going to, they're actually mixed in with some other products because we love to mix things around. Oh, hello, Patty Redman is in Michigan. Hello, hello. Um, so we do have um, our little French bulldog here. Look how cute he is. Just super, super sweet. We've actually combined him. This is sneak peek coming attractions. Look at the background there. Is that, isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Um, and then here is our, um, oh, what's he called? Our kangaroo. So cute. So we've popped him in with a Paris background because he has hopped over from Australia. Look at him with his little map. He's not sure where he's going, but at least he made it to... Uh, to Paris. And um, so the adventure begins. So we've mixed in some of those you mean the world to me sentiments in here. So, 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 so cute. You're going to see some more of these in just a moment, but I wanted to show you these two, but I do have some other things to show you first. So let's see. Um, oh, somebody is saying, yes, please do tell. No, no, no. <laughs> please do tell. I can do with all that. It's really actually not that funny. Isn't that funny? No. Oh, well, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Let, let's go to camera one and I will tell this, I will tell the story quickly. So here's the story, the wedding dress that had its own suitcase. We, um, which is true. My husband and I, it was a second marriage. It was going to be a second marriage for both of us. So we weren't going to do like the big whole wedding thing and everything. And he said to me, if you could be married anywhere, where would you want to get married? And I had two choices, or at least I had two suggestions. One was going to be on the beach in a bikini, which I did not think would be appropriate for wedding pictures. Well, I not going to wear a bikini. And I, he, he didn't want to wear a bikini. And, you know, I, at, at the time I looked good in one. <laughs> but um, the other option was in Italy because um, I am half Italian. So um, anyway, that was what we did. We got married in Italy. So uh, long story short, we were supposed to be married in Bellagio. And, um, um, we, that without making it a big story, the, for some reason, the equivalent of the mayor, I guess here 
we got word of it when we were in we were in Venice because we, we went for like three weeks. So we got word of it in Venice. I, I had called before we left for Italy. I had called to confirm our wedding in Bellagio. When we were in Venice, I decided I better call and confirm again. And for some reason, they canceled it. The 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 mayor or whoever it was who was supposed to perform the ceremony decided to go on a vacation and it was like a month long vacation canceled our wedding so here we are and we have <laughs> we have this wedding and i had a wedding dress that my husband had been carting around and it had its own suitcase because you don't want it to get all messed up right so anyway we had to hurry up and try and figure out what are we going to do. And we got it rescheduled in Milan, which was not too far. It was like a hop, skip, a jump, a train ride, a boat, or whatever. A boat, a train, <laughs> a boat, a, taxi, a, boat, a, a train, a taxi, and a long walk <laughs> from Bellagio where we were staying. <laughs> and I thought, I am not going to wear this dress. And because of, it was just going to be too, and he was demanding you are wearing the dress. It has its own suitcase. I've carried it for two weeks. <laughs> so we carried it there. And I don't know if you've ever been in a bathroom, a public restroom in Italy, but it's literally, at least where we were in Milan, it's a hole in the floor, like a drain. That's where I put my wedding dress on. That was quite interesting as well. Because remember, we carried it and I put the wedding dress on whatever. So anyway, for pictures. Yes, for pictures. So anyway, that is the story. My husband demanded I was going to wear that dog on thing because he had already carried it for 2 weeks in its own suitcase. <laughs> so, there it is. Right, so, we're going to switch back and if anybody wants to crop that out of the final video, go <laughs> ahead. So, all right. So here we are. This is where we are. Um I'm going to move on to cuz you've already seen like a little sneak peek. I'm going to move on to background stamps. We have scenic backgrounds one and we have scenic backgrounds two. I love doing scene cards. So for any of you that, you know, have already been, you know, watching our videos and stuff and you've seen me do my scene building cards, I love, I love scene building. It's the only kind of scene I like to create. So there you go. Um, so I just thought it would be so much fun. <coughs> We ended up with two different sets because I couldn't narrow it down. And so um, they are, you know, single stamps in here. So you don't have to really build it with your stamps, but it's really simple coloring, simple illustration. This one here, so scenic, let me flip these over so you can see them better. All right. So in scenic, uh, scenic backgrounds one, you're going to get the desert. You're going, this one is kind of like a park scene where you just get like, you know, hill, hills and trees. We have Paris here. And then this one is like, this one's like a mountainscape. So if you want to color that to be like snow-capped mountains, you can, or, you know, if these are mountains in Texas, whatever it is you want to do. And then here in the scenic backgrounds too, we've got a beautiful kind of a cityscape here. And then, you know, of course, you know, we have the island. A beautiful garden gate. So this is, you know, you're going into the garden. And then this one here, this one actually reminds me a little bit of, of Italy, like, like the Rialto Bridge. That's what it kind of makes me think of. But it's, it's just a beautiful bridge with some, you know, beautiful water going underneath it. It's just so pretty. So you saw a couple of these already. Actually, you saw Paris because both of these cards use Paris, both with our little French bulldog and with um, our little Australian um, kangaroo there. But we've also, what are you doing? Somebody wants you to press, so I got your picture. <laughs> oh my goodness, seriously? Wow, let's <laughs> yeah, dust it off. It needs dusting. This is the dress. This was Alan and I, when this is our picture. This is us, that, and you're, this is actually, this was um, at, yeah, this was in Bellagio. Um, was this just outside of our room? Was this our terrace? No, I can't remember. That, that famous hotel next door. But yeah, this is it. And I have perfectly straight hair. I had curly hair for a month. And so I had curly hair when we got married. And that was the only time oh. I ever had curly hair. <laughs> oh, honey, they don't want to hear all these stories. It's, okay. not, it's not that. It's not that kind of thing. All right. 
Okay, so that, that's that. Now we're going to move back. So we've talked about backgrounds one and backgrounds two. So here we have got, a, now we've got our little hippo here, and he is making his way to the beach. And of course, he's got those wonderful, wonderful, uh, you mean the world to me sentiments. Here we have the beach just on its own. So if you don't want to put any characters in there and you just want to create a beautiful, beautiful, serene, you know, look, this this is what's in my imagination most of the day, every day. <laughs> so that's where I put myself. Um, here we have our little French bulldog. Look at him. He's, he's just so cute. I love that he's got his little artist palette there. I miss you so much. How cute is that? And then we've got our little giraffe on his bicycle and he is just going, you know, past that little garden gate. It's just so cute. Yellow sunshine. How are you? That I mean, it's just adorable. Easy, easy, easy scene building. Um, the work is really done for you. It's just one stamp and, and, and you're good to go. Um, many of these too, if you wanted to repeat stamp them, I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to repeat stamp you know, the Eiffel Tower. You're kind of going to know that there's only supposed to be one. <laughs> but many of them, if you wanted to repeat stamp, um, you know, to go across a longer um, card, you could do so. So I love these. I think these are just fantabulous. So let's see, what else do we have here? Some more characters. <laughs> IBL. Look at you and look at Alan. He's a hunk. Wow. Didn't say anything about me. Thank you very much. But <laughs> but Alan's a hunk. <laughs> I'm kidding. Away shots. Elizabeth, you're just hilarious to me. That, that cracks me up. So funny. Thank you. He is a hunk. He is my silver fox now. Okay. Back to crafting. We have never stopped dreaming, which... Oh my goodness, does it get any more precious than this? I love these. Um, you know, this one has to, it, this one, this one really came from one of my favorite pictures <coughs> or favorite things. What, what, uh, what company is that? Is it Dream, Dream? What the heck is it? When they have like, like when you're seeing movies, like you, yeah. you, you go to, you go to watch a movie and at the like beginning or the end of the movie, they have. DreamWorks. Is it DreamWorks? Yeah. yeah, that's kind of, I was like, oh my goodness, I want like, I want a kid on the moon. I I just think it's so sweet. So th th DreamWorks was the inspiration for this, to be honest with you. Um, and it's just really taken off and it's just so beautiful. So we have this little boy who is like, so he can be sleeping on the moon. He could be floating in the sky, dreaming, never stop dreaming. We have some beautiful owls in here that I just think are so gorgeous. Um, here we have a little wisp of wind the stars and one of them even has the sweetest little face um here we have a little fishing rod so he could be um you know sitting up there and you know fishing for a star um, and then we have this little girl who it has got her little telescope and she could be looking up at the stars this one says you are a shining star i just think this is just sweet it's just absolutely absolutely beautiful one of the sweetest stamp sets that we've done and of course we have coordinating dies. Um, and I, I, I can't even say enough about it. I just think it's so beautiful. So check out what our team did with some of these cards. Look at that. Isn't that just magical? Never stop dreaming. I just think it's so pretty. I, I seriously, I just think it's beautiful. Here's another one where she's looking up at the stars. You are a shining star. Yay, gorgeous. Look at this one. Never stop dreaming. He's like actually floating over on the wind here. Look at the clouds and the stars. He's floating over onto that moon. Just beautiful. Oh, this one is, let me see if I can get it in this way. Okay, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous slim line. Um, notice you're seeing what you're seeing in the background on a lot of these preview coming attractions. Um, this one says, hearing from you sends me over the moon. Just beautiful. And then here's another one where we've actually mixed it in with um, our painted garden papers, which I think are ch it's just stunning. Stunning. You make the world a better place. So pretty. Um, I tell you, man, our team is just amazing. Okay, so next up, let's see what do we have here. Ay, 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 ay. Um, would not be a collection of ours without 
beautiful set of, um, of florals. So we have the Joyful Blooms. You, you actually get three stamps in this set. Uh, then we have the dies and then the layering stencils. Now, it looks like there's four stamps in here, but there's technically only three because the flowers are one stamp. So when you stamp that, it's going to stamp both of those florals together. You're going to cut them both out with one die. So we have one die in here that cuts out both of those florals. Then we have dies for the sentiments as well. Okay, so you can see how it works. And then you can, you can choose to color those with your favorite coloring medium, markers, pencils, watercolors, whatever you want. Or you can color them with these beautiful layering stencils. Um, we show you on the back how you layer them. There's 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B is your second color. And then your third color would be 3A, 3B, and 3C. Um, these do have those wonderful alignment marks on each of the sentiment or um, each of the stencils. Those help, it, help you so that you can align them anywhere on your paper. You're not just always having to align in the corner. No matter where you start um, your, your stamping or your stenciling, um, you're actually going to be using your very, very first whatever you've stenciled, you're going to be using that with the alignment guides that exist all over your stencil. See those little lines on there? Those are actually etched marks that you'll see on your stencil. So it helps you to really easily align um, each of the stencils up so you get perfect placement and coloring each and every time. Now, these are designed so that you can lay these over the stamp to color, uh, to color your stamp in, or you can just use these stencils on their own without the stamps, um, they will also work with the dies. So um, you can get that beautiful no line coloring effect. Uh, where are, oh, here they are. Oh, and before I show you the card samples, I wanna point this out to you as well. I have been wanting to have a really great wood grain stamp for a, a, quite a long time um, in, in our collection and uh, it took me a while to do it, but we finally did it. This is a six by six stamp. Um, well, IBL is saying, Angie, is it best to stamp this and then stencil? Actually, I, I would say if you're going to use, yes, if you're, I would say if you're going to stencil and then, um, and then you want to stamp, I, I think you could do it either way because these are so perfectly aligned. The only thing I would tell you to be careful of is if you're going to be stamping with an ink that is the same as the ink that you're going to be stenciling with because, and I'll tell you why, whether you're using our ink, so if you're using, um, you know, Tim, Tim Holtz uh, Distress inks or something, uh, inks will oftentimes reactivate each other. So if you stamp, let's say, with our hybrid ink and then in black, and then you go to use hybrid ink with your stencils over that same black, it's going to smear your black. All right. So for that reason, I would probably stencil first and then stamp if you're using the same ink. It's going to work that way if you use, if you're going to stamp with distress inks as well. If you stamp with a distress ink and then you go to stencil, you know, and, and blend, you know, color blend with a distress ink, it's going to smear. Cause a lot of them, like I said, will reactivate each other. Um, so, that way, I, I I would I would stencil first and then stamp. And your I mean, these are so dead on perfect. The way that they're going to line up with your stamp, I mean, they're just they're fantastic. As long as you use those alignment guides that we put on there, you should be good. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, you can do it either way, but uh, but like I said, you know, pay attention to the inks that you're using because if they reactivate each other, you could end up smearing whatever you've just stamped. So a uh, wood grain stamp. So I wanted to have a wood grain stamp for a really, really long time, but I wanted to have a really good wood grain image, uh, the artwork. And um, so we came up with this one. I think it's fantastic. I thought it was a perfect time to release it because, you know, we're going to be heading into, you know, spring in the next few months. And with all the florals and everything, and it, it just seemed like the perfect time to have a wood grain. And I think it works absolutely beautiful 
with these joyful blooms to top it off. Um, and so I, oh, and then here you can see on the back, you can see what the image looks like um, if you have stamped it and then just, you know, if you, you know, have a beautiful, you know, color blend or something, you know, before and then stamp uh, that image over, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So look at this, isn't that stunning? So, so pretty. So this one is actually, um, we have the beautiful Joyful Blooms. Uh, we've stamped it, we've colored it, and we have cut it out. We have the beautiful You Are So, uh, actually the You Are So Beautiful To Me sentiment over it. It's all popped up. Got some little coordinating little, you know, dots on there, just beautiful. And in the background, we have this wood grain and that's actually embossed. So it was stamped on, it looks like, um, looks like it was stamped on brown and then it looks like it's embossed over the top. So that gives it, oh my goodness, that's such a beautiful look. It feels really cool too. I just think it's really, really pretty. Here is another one. Isn't that lovely? This one is also stamped and then embossed. So it was stamped on like craft paper and then embossed over it. So pretty. And again, I mean, you can see how beautifully it pairs with a floral stamp. They're just lovely. Here we have the Joyful Blooms on their own. Gorgeous. This one, let me see, was this? All of these were actually colored with the stencils, I can see. So, so pretty. Different color combinations, and they're just lovely. This one, it was done in some yellows. Now, this one is showing you, we've got a couple of yellows and a couple of greens, um, some watercolor. Looks like it was done with, with like it, water was added to it and watercolor um, effect a little bit. But this is actually done with just the stencils. It's super, super pretty. Very, very different look. Just beautiful. What? You keep hitting that note. I keep hitting that note. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, honey. <laughs> okay, so what is next? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I saw something. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was that I saw. But I saw something. This is a, maybe a year, a couple of years ago, a year ago. And I just thought it was the cutest thing where there was like a saying like, you know, orange you a cutie and there was a picture of an orange or something like that. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a set where we had um, sentiments that actually were a play on the colors that are in the set? And I thought that would be really, really cool. Um, Alan, I can't see messages. It looks like it says there's new messages, but they're not, it's not scrolling. Well, okay, honey. <laughs> so, is that better? so that's where this was born. My my husband is being a little impatient. Okay, so anyway, that's that's where this set was born. So this has sixteen stamps in. This is a six by eight set. Um, I I love this. We should, we give you you know again ignore the warning. That's just because it's a large plastic bag, but. Um, it's okay to be blue and we show it with this paintbrush um, with the same blue. Um, we do have like a little crayon mark here that you can use with the crayon and you can make that crayon any color you want. We have another little crayon scribble over here. Um, yellow sunshine, how are you? Of course goes with the sun. I'm over the rainbow for you because we, you know, you can use a rainbow of colors in here. Plus we have the rainbow word. You are ray red red re whatever however you want to say it ridiculously amazing but it's a play on the red word get it ha 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 orange you a cutie with a little orange have a spink tacular day so spink would be like pink um you make life purplicious because you can make things purple in here so you can use any colors of the rainbow and then this one says just wanted to teal you thanks so depending on how you color things, you can use these sentiments and they're just so cute. And then of course we have the coordinating dies to cut out all these little icons in here. Show you a little map on the back of which one goes with which. And of course we have some amazing cards from our design team. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just cute? You add sunshine to my life. 
I love how the sunshine is on top. So you have all these things in your life, but with you, there's sunshine, which is so cute. Cute. But that sentiment is actually sneak peek coming attractions. That's part of another set. I'm over the rainbow for you. Look at that. That is just so cute. These are the little paint splotches that's right here. That now, and now that I look at it, it looks like a deer print, doesn't it? <laughs> like if I turn it that way, maybe? It looks like a deer print. That's interesting. It's funny. I have the tendency to see things in shapes, by the way. I'm one of those people. <laughs> so I think that's so, so great. Just doing a rainbow of colors with the same stamp. So beautiful. Orange, you a cutie. Look at all those little orange orange slices. Isn't that just so great? I love that. Such a bright and vibrant card. And this one stamping the same, same stamp over and over and over again. This is the crayon. And again, a rainbow of colors. I love this yellow sunshine. How are you? And I love that yellow starts right on the yellow crayon. How creative. That is so cute. And again, we have over the rainbow for you. And this again is where, you know, we have that, um, that paintbrush. Now this, which I was thinking, you know, I hadn't even thought that we could use that as paint. It looks great as paint. I thought it was just going to be for the crayon, but it looks fantastic with the paintbrush. I love it. And look at the rainbow here. Yay. Sneak peek, coming attractions. Guess what's next? We're going to take a look at how we create the rainbows pretty, pretty soon. Give me just a moment. All righty. Let's see. Let's move these out of the way. So for those of you that love your stack dies, you know, all the stack stuff that we have, um, we are adding two new stamp sets that are going to go with your wave ribbon banner stack. So as this, as you know, how this works, you only have to get the die one time. All right. And it's going to work with a whole bunch of sentiments. The two new sentiments that we have this time are, you're simply the best. This is the, the, the stack stamp right down here. And then love, here is your stack stamp right down here. Each one of these has, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 sentiments in each stack. So let me press this up so we can see them all. I'm not gonna read them all to you, but um, we have your kindness makes such a difference. I will always be here for you. You deserve the world. So this is all about you're simply the best, which actually says you're simply the best right there. You make the world a better place, which we have seen in some of the samples. And then of course we have two large words. This is the first time that we're introducing these with large words as well. So we have thinking of you and you're the best. This love set here, the 12 sentiments that you're going to get in the stack are things like, I love you to the moon and back. Many kisses coming your way. You make my heart do that thing. How cute is that? You're pretty much my favorite person. I love that one. And then, of course, we have especially for you and to my love are the large uh, sentiments there. Both of these are new additions to the wave stack set. So if you've already got this wave ribbon banner stack die, you're going to be able to use whatever sentiments, wave sentiments you have already. Plus, you can use these too. If you don't have this, they are available as well. And you can start building your collection now because there's no better time than, than the present, right? Perfect time. I love these. These are going to work. Um, I mean, they're, they're fantastic for any time of year. I just think they're wonderful. Um, so we have some examples here. Look at that. How cute is that? We've actually used three of them on this one. This one is a slimline card. You mean the world to me. My heart is all yours. You are my one and only. Was, was I the inspiration for that? Yes, honey, I made this card just for you. I mean the whole collection. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, you're yes, of course. I, you are the inspiration for the whole the whole thing. It was all you. It doesn't feel sincere. <laughs> doesn't feel sincere what doesn't sound sincere about that honey you know you are my one and only yeah yeah <laughs> okay we're gonna have to go to the larger shot let's go back out let's go out to camera two i guess here because in case anybody is wondering how you know we've seen a lot like on this one we've got them all over the place we've got those little strips this one has all different widths to it this is on a slim line 
This one has all the same width in different greens to create some grass, and we've got that on an A2. Here we again have different strips on an A2, different sizes, different widths to those strips. Where's some others that we did? Check that one out on the diagonal. Different lengths again, we've got it on a slim line. We're seeing these all over the place. Look how spectacular this one is on an A2, and we're these are all quarter inch, and we just have them going in all different directions. You know, the possibilities with these are endless, and how are we doing it? We're doing it with, let's start off with the slimline dies. Ah, love these. That one was for you, Alan. Thank you. So there's four of these all together. Actually, let me go in the other direction, because I want to count up, right? Let's see if I can get them all in. These are the slimline size. These are going to cut strips. So we have the eighth of an inch slim line. This one is one die and it actually will cut four strips at a time. This is the quarter of an inch slim line background strips. Again, it's going to cut four at a time. This one is the half inch. It's going to cut three. And then this one is the half inch with the stitching and it's going to cut three at a time. So I happen to have here I, I used this one and I went ahead, I ran this die through. This is what the die looks like right here. Okay. So it ha each of these is going to have a blade all the way around the outside. It's going to have a blade in between each of the strips. This one has beautiful stitching on it. So I ran that through and this is a great place by the way to use any scraps. That's what I did. I went to my scrap bin and I thought, where do I have some, some, uh, uh, some scraps from you know, paper that they eat and have by 11 or whatever. So this is, um, this cut all three of these strips. So I, I took like a moment and I thought, all right, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some summer colors and I'm going to see what I can get here. And so I got very quickly three colors, orange, green, yellow, and kind of a coral here. And this is all we're doing to build these. You're literally just laying your colors like this. Whatever combination you want to do. Let's go here. Let's do green. Look how pretty these are once you start laying these out. Now, I could do these all in the same color. You know, and you can just start repeating. You can do a whole rainbow. I can add more colors to it and more colors to it. And I can trim these to any size that I want. Um, I would suggest putting them down first on the card and then trimming them afterwards so that you get, um, you know, so they're all sized right. Um, but isn't that just beautiful? You just keep going and choose whatever colors you want. Now, these are for a slim line. These are your slim line size. So these are going to work beautifully on, you know, like if I wanted these to go across my slim line length, you know, you definitely want the slim line. To go on the, the diagonal like this, you can use a shorter length. You could use your slim lines if you if you wanted to use your slim lines and you know lay them on there and then run your die your die um, uh, through your machine. I'm sorry, your uh, card through the the machine and have it die cut. We've also got these in the smaller length, so this is going to be your A2 size. And some people think, well, if I've got <coughs> And this is a valid argument too. If I already have the slim line and I can use it on any size, why do I, why would I want to have the A2? And first of all, let me mention they're the exact same width that, that we talked about on the slim line. So we have eighth of an inch, quarter inch, half inch, and then half inch with the stitching. Um, the length is the A2. So I, here's my thing. This is my, my thing is that I love to have a finished edge. So Whenever I can get a finished edge, so since this is this length here is going to be five and a half uh, inches long, which is your A2 length, and it gives me a beautiful, beautiful finished edge on there. That's why I like to have both sizes. Um, we've really done a great job, I think, in keeping the price down on these so that they're really feasible, and you can easily get a collection of them uh, in in either or both sizes. I think without breaking the bank. Um, these are things that you're going to be able to use. It's, it's one of those things that's like milk, bread, butter. You know, you always want to have those in your refrigerator. These are staples. Again, you've heard me talk about having staples. These are things that you're going to reach for year after year. 
um, in your card making and um, in your scrapbooking. They're just beautiful. Um, so I do like to have both sizes because I like to have a finished end if I'm going to use them across the length, the full length of my card. So, um, so that would be, you know, my reasoning behind that. Uh, we purposely did the half inch in both um, the stitched and without the stitch so that you could get, you know, two different looks with that. Um, we couldn't really add the stitching on the smaller widths or the thinner widths because there just isn't room for it. But I think it adds something really beautiful and it gives you a different look. You can even mix those up too. So if you notice, let's come in and let's zoom in on here, Alan. Yeah, I was going to say that's an awesome card for Naomi. So when you zoom into here, you can see we've actually mixed up not only the colors of the rainbow, but we've mixed up the widths. So we have some in here that are actually this one. This one looks like she even sliced in hit. No, this is the, yeah, that's the eighth of an inch. I was going to say it looks thinner than an eighth, but it's not. So here we have that half inch, we have the eighth of an inch, and we have the quarter inch here. Notice we have stitching here on, there it is, I caught the light. This one, the silver one has stitching, but this one here that's at a half inch does not have stitching. Here, this one does have stitching. Um, so you can really mix up not only the colors and the, the, the widths of your strips to get a gorgeous, gorgeous custom look, but you can also just kind of sprinkle in some with stitching and some without. And it, it's just fabulous. It's just beautiful. And what a gorgeous card that is. So beautiful. And notice we have all the colors of the rainbow, but we did not put them in the order of the rainbow. So, you know, another thing to think about too is, you know, you don't always have to stick with the way the colors work in the rainbow. You can mix that up however you want. And it's just stunning. So creative. I, I love that. I think it's just beautiful. Okay. We actually have one more. Is it only one more? Oh, I wanted to show you these too before I forget. So here's a couple more card samples where we used, this is where we used those strip dies, all right? And again, on this one, we've mixed in some stitching. Notice we have stitching around the outer edge there too. So we actually cut that with a different die once they were all laid in place, you know, and I will be, I will be using these in, you know, in my crafting for you guys um, too, to show you how we've, you know, created some of these looks as well. So, um, you know, like next week when we do a live, I'm going to be playing with these things. You're going to see, you know, how we created some of these looks. So, um, this one though, uses those beautiful strips in the background, mixed up the widths again, and this is using one of the beautiful, uh, wave sentiments here. So the whole idea, if you remember these is you stamp once, cause I think I passed over this for anybody who doesn't know how these work. You've got one stamp, one large stamp. It's about a four by four stamp. It's going to actually stamp those little circles in the corner there as well. So it's going to stamp all of those sentiments at one time. It's going to stamp those circles. Then when you grab your die, notice your die has those circles too. So those are your little alignment marks, your alignment guides. So when I lay this die over my stamped image, I'm going to line up those circles on the die with the circles that I've stamped. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. And it's going to cut every single one of those apart for me. And I'm going to end up with a dozen perfectly aligned and perfectly cut strip um, sentiments, a whole stack of them, which is where the term stack comes from, right? They're all stacked here. They're all, this is a die where they're all stacked. And then I end up with a stack of them in my hand. Um, I actually store them in the back of my packaging so I know exactly which ones they go with and I have them ready to use. Um, so here we've grabbed You Make the World a Better Place. We've paired it with our strip dies in the background. Easy, easy background. And that font there, if you're wondering what that is, that this one is our Sophie lowercase alpha that you will, you will find um, in a previous collection of ours. This one actually uses our Chloe lowercase alpha. And again, we've paired it going in a di different direction. This one is actually a mini slimline, notice. I mean, you can use these on so many different sizes. You can put them on tags 
you can put them on, you know, five by seven cards, six by six, whatever sizes you want, because because especially if you have the slim line, because they're they're so long. So this one, we have just gone with the standard colors of the rainbow. Oops, let's slide that down here. The standard colors of the rainbow. We've paired it with your simply the best, which is from our your simply the best wave stamps, and then we paired it with our Chloe lowercase alpha and Super easy, one, two, three, you're done. Really, really easy to create. Beautiful, beautiful cards, really pack a big punch. I just, I just think they're beautiful, so pretty. Clean, simple, easy to do, but it looks like you spent hours doing it. And isn't that our goal? <laughs> you wanna mention that some of the stack dies are square. Some of them are oh yeah, Alan away, wants me to point this out, square. and he's he's right. I should mention this to you, especially for those of you that don't know our stack dies. Um, the one we've been talking about is the wave ribbon banner stack. Okay. Um, we also have, notice these have a little bit of a wave to them. The sentiments that go with those will have the word wave in them. And All right. Round. Yep. And they will have little circles for aligning. <laughs> we also have another stack set or, or stack collection that is a, they're straight. And this one, this one, we have two different dies for it. So this one has a ribbon cut edge. This one has a blunt cut edge. But notice these have squares. All right, so the coordinating stamps are going to have squares. So any of the stamps that are straight and have squares are going to work with these two dies, the sentiment stack and the sentiment stack two. Any of them that have the word wave in them, okay, are going to work with this one. Um, all right. Huh? That's it. I just, you know, want to make sure people yeah. order what they... I, and I just realized we didn't put the word wave where it says you're simply the best, but on the back here, we always put what it coordinates with. So coordinates with the wave ribbon coordinating die. So it'll tell you the 8150, notice 8158. So it says the 8158 wave ribbon stack coordinating die is sold separately. All right. So when you have a wave, you want to make sure you're using it with your wave die. If you have one of the straight sentiments, you're going to use it with the straight, um, the, the, the straight die. So make sure you understand that distinction when you go shopping. Okay. The last item I have to show you in this collection, okay, we've been talking about stacks. And if you remember, we introduced for Halloween and for Christmas, we introduced um, the gift tag stack, stacks and we had an absolute blast with them and they've been a huge hit. And we've had a lot of you know, people asking us to add more. And um, so this is the newest edition. So again, anybody who already has this gift tag stack die, this is not new, this has already been out. If you have this already, it's the same concept. You are going to get in here one large stamp here. It's about a four by four. This one is going to have little triangles in the corners, all right? So it's going to stamp those triangles. We have coordinating triangles on the die that you line up, all right? You're going to line them up, and then you're going to automatically cut these little tags out. Now this one, let me show you some of these tags because they're just adorable. Oh, and I should also point out, we have sentiments in here like we always have. Each of those sentiments, is they're all going to fit, and you can kind of mix and match them into all of your tags, or if you want to simply put a to and from, you can do that as well. So look at these. Look how cute. Here we have just two tags by themselves, sealed with a kiss. So pretty. And these are mostly solid stamping, so there's really no coloring involved in here. It's, it's all solid stamping. So like these, we actually stamped and then embossed them all in white to make it really, really easy. But you could do these all in red. You could do red and black. I mean, just so beautiful. So scent with love. Oh, sealed with a kiss. It looks a little bit different. So we put sealed with a kiss with the lips. This one is sealed with a kiss with the, um, I was going to call it herringbone. I can't think of what it's called. It's uh, houndstooth. houndstooth. Thank you. How did I, know that? I don't know why you knew that, <laughs> but I, I love that you did. And then here we have uh, scent with love. You are my missing piece with the roses. How pretty. And if you're wondering where the sixth one is, it's right here. You are my missing piece. And we've used it on a card 
very simple paint splatters on a white background. We use some of our little strips here and we have our little tags in the center. You are my missing piece with a little bit of a bow and done. So, so cute. I love them. So these are absolutely fantastic. You know, these, I, I, I love these. If you want to put these on a card like we did, if you want to tie these onto a gift with Valentine's coming, I mean, these are just spectacular. If you, you know, if you want to give out like little candy bags or something, I was thinking like when my son was little, these would have been an absolute blast, you know, cause you always, you know, you're always going to be sending little, little treats and stuff to school and stuff. Um, or, um, if you want to do like a little coupon book or something, um, these would be really, really cute to, to make these little coupons. So cute. You also don't even have to put these sentiments on there. If you just want to write little notes on there or stamp other little images that you might have. Um, I mean, you know, you can put like some of our little pocket pails on these. They're just so cute. Maybe you don't even want to use the stamps and you just want to cut the dies, use the die to cut pattern paper, which we, which is what we did here. So many different ways of using them either individually or together. And they're just so fun. And like I said, absolutely perfect timing with Valentine's Day on the way. But these are really, really great. Notice they don't say Valentine's anywhere on them. We wanted to make sure that you could use them all year long. All right, Mr. Hunt. All right, what do I do? Is it's it? time to change the camera. To here? <laughs> yeah. Down? I think that's the whole collection in a nutshell. Wow, that's great. Oh, I love this. What is it? And you can put them in a ring after you, after, what does it say? And you can put them in a ring after you search your inks. After you search your inks. Them in a ring. I'm not sure. These tags would be perfect for my sweet littles. They are that are left in the neighborhood. They're growing too quickly. Oh, I hear you. Mine is 18. How cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, everybody, thank you so much for the fab collection. Great new collection. Ah gosh, thank you guys for being here. And I, you know, all your comments. It's just so sweet. What? Did I get in the camera? Oh, was right I going to show you something? Oh, I'm sorry. I yeah, got in the it's okay. People like to see it. I was going to say, was I the inspiration for that? Yes, yeah, honey, you were the inspiration for all of the good and wonderful things in this collection. Thank you. All right. How about a giveaway? Okay. Got to do a giveaway, right? We have to do a giveaway. All righty. You want to draw a name for me? The yeah. giveaway. The giveaway is actually going to be. Where's the die? The wedding dress. Hmm? The wedding dress? No, I'm gonna give away I'm gonna give away the um I'm gonna give away the, the love stamps. These right here. Okay. The love wave stamps. Love, 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 love. But I need a name. Me still hunt. Kathy Finnegan. Kathy Finnegan! Kathy Finnegan, you are the winner! Congratulations! You have won. <laughs> you have won our love stamps. This is a four by six stamp set. It's going to be perfect, 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 not only for Valentine's Day, but for any time. So this is going to be a new addition, hopefully a new addition to your, your, uh, your wave sentiment set or a sentiment collection or... <laughs> Be more sentimental. All right. What I need you to do, though, to claim your prize, please, is send an email to customer service at ldrscreative.com. I need your complete address, your name, um, and we will get this out to you right away. So please, please, please. And congratulations. Thank you so much for being here as well. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. We're early. We're never early. No. How did that happen? No, you. The whole never collection. Early. Never. I'm never early. Never. I'm never early. <laughs> now, I I was born 15 minutes late, and my mother said I've been 15 minutes late ever since. <laughs> that I believe. So, all righty. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for sticking with us for, for so long while we do these. I enjoy doing them, and I love sharing our collections with you. So, uh, we will be back here same time, same place, next Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, make sure, if you will do me a favor, please. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, do so. That way you will get a notification when we're getting, when, when we're going live. 
Um, you can also go if you don't get uh, if you don't get our newsletter and you don't get the, the announcements that we're going to be doing some sort of a live or anything else. Uh, you can go to our webpage and you can actually go to the bottom and you can subscribe there as well. Um, I would also appreciate it if you would click a like if you're if you're on YouTube or on Facebook on our video here. So all that is good stuff and it helps us and it lets us know that you appreciate what we're doing. So um, and anyway. Um, I will be back here next week, and we're going to be using some of these goodies. We're going to be using them for the weeks to come, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I don't know exactly which items I'm going to be working with yet, um, but like I said, if you subscribe and you get our newsletter, you will get the email that will tell you what we're going to be working with, and it will also remind you to be here. So that is it for now. Thank you, everybody. Wishing you a lovely evening, a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye.